welcome back to a new video in the Puff Expression series. A few days ago, a while ago, I got uh, a message from somebody who was asking me how, uh, how do I feel about this machine after using it for a while. And to be honest, I had to go uh, back uh, on my channel and watch when I did that uh, unboxing video. And that was like two years ago. So I'm using this machine now for like two years, two years. Um, I want to say first of all that I have no affiliation with uh, PUFF. Uh, this machine was bought by me and uh, all the opinions are mine. So uh, because I got some messages to ask me if I got paid by PUFF or things like that. But no, my machine, this is my machine. I bought it myself. Um, also, I want to say that uh, this is my main machine. I'm using it almost every day on almost every project. Something that is not made only for surgeries or something like that. For the rest, I'm using this machine. And the only thing when I'll use um, a second machine uh, or the only projects will be when I need to top stitch, for example, and uh, to avoid um, changing thread and needles. Because, uh, for example, when I'm making jeans, I'm uh, top stitching with uh, top stitching thread and I'm always using a bigger needle for uh, to allow for that uh, thicker thread. So in order to avoid changing all the time needles and thread, I'm using a second machine for construction and I'm using this one for uh, top stitching. But for the rest, if you watch on my uh, Instagram account, you'll see that and also here on YouTube, all the projects I'm making, I'm making with this machine and you'll see that I'm using it for uh, a lot of fabrics from thick wools to thinner ones uh, to thinner fabrics uh, scuba and uh, everything actually denim and all kind of fabrics so um, I want to say that uh, mostly I have uh, only good things to say about this machine there are just a few things that uh, it's not like I don't like them or there are things that are, will put me off to, to choose this machine, but there are small annoying things that I would like to, to have them different. But for the rest, I'm really, really happy with this machine. I uh, want to say that um, um, I have no big problems with it, actually no problems at all. Uh, only one thing I did change on it, it was the, um, the knife. One time I had it, uh, I think something did get jammed by thread. I did take the thread out, but I was not uh, I did not pay attention if everything went here jammed. So when uh, the, the the cutter, when I activated to cut the thread, it did get into some uh, metal and uh, I had to change that knife, but that is something really, really easy to do. And I got uh, to send it by my uh, dealer. So it was something really easy to fix. But for the rest, this machine, two years already and really used almost every day is still working really nice and very very good um if i uh so as i said i'm i'm using it for uh, for a lot of fabrics and um i noticed the last uh, period i i had to test uh, i tested the pattern for uh, scuba knits and um or for scuba fabric and I noticed something uh, really strange that uh, when I'm sewing with uh, the so like when I need to attach two parts of the of the dress and I'm sewing uh, right sides together when I'm sewing that I I see that the um, the dog feet are catching a little bit of threads in the fabric and to fix that I'm for those seams where I need to to sew on the uh, wrong side of the of the scuba, I'm using some uh, toilet paper, and then later I just take it off. It's really really easy, and it did really uh, help my problem with um, with the dog feet catching those threads and you know uh, snagging it, making it uh, not to look nice. So um, in terms of uh, presser foot, I did have some uh, extra presser feet from. Um, my other puff, the one I had before this one, uh, it was also a quilt, you know, the pink one. I cannot remember anymore. Um, but I had some uh, presser foot, uh, presser feet from the other one, so I uh, could use them on this one. And I think the extra uh, feet that they are not coming with the machine, but they are, I did use them a lot, uh, are of course the um, uh, this. Um, 
invisible zipper foot which is not coming with the machine so this is something I'm using uh, quite often and this is a quarter inch or a quilt uh, you know that in quilting they are using a lot this this presser foot that is ha having a lot of markings here and for six millimeter seam allowance this is really really uh, nice to to have and um, and, uh, in the last uh, few months I noticed that my, that my um, standard presser foot, the A1, it did get parsed. I don't know what happened with the plastic, but uh, it really damaged this, uh, this part. And this is also the, the, the presser foot that I'm using the most. So the, the plastic did get cracked here and here is missing already a small piece. So I'll have to, to buy a new one. I don't know why this happened. I have no idea. Maybe it's full one time, but anyway is uh, is not in best condition anymore as you can see so uh, this is about presser foot one little thing uh, I want to mention and I'll mention it in a moment uh, it's one of the things I find that uh, really annoying in the beginning is the um, using the button hole uh, uh, foot and I'm going to come back to this uh, in a moment um, to go on with uh, with the with the machine, I find uh, having all those uh, you know in my unboxing video, I was saying that uh, I got an extra package you know in that uh, surprise box uh, present box. I got a lot of uh, um, uh, bobbins, and I think it's re something really really uh, handy to have. I have I have a lot of them. I had another package that I bought myself, but. Um, I just want to say that having a lot of bobbins is really handy and when I have only just a little bit I'm using this uh, uh, bobbins for basting um, uh, garments that I'm making to, to try out patterns and stuff like that where it's not important which uh, thread I'm, I'm using. So having a lot of bobbins uh, is really handy. Um, one thing that is also a bit annoying, but on the other hand is really useful, you know, when your bobbin is almost uh, empty, when you get that, um, when you get, uh, you get a warning that your bobbin is too low. Um, I did see a message from somebody that was getting crazy about that, um, that message on the machine. You can go on with sewing, but uh, I know that I can make one or two, uh, long seams and then I need to stop because it will be empty. Uh, you can continue sewing with, with that message here. You only, if you, every time you need to change something, you have, uh, you get the first time you get that message again, but then you can continue sewing. But that is something that's a little bit annoying. Again, with uh, uh, spools that are all almost empty, I'm making my uh, test garments. And um, so I'm, I'm using every thread I have. For the rest, uh, let me see, I have here another presser foot that I bought, is uh, like for pin tucks, I don't know if I used it. In terms of uh, needles, I want to say that um, for most of my garments I'm using um, universal needles, 80, sometimes 90, sometimes 75, but mostly 80, and I just bought a while ago. A big box like this from Schmetz with uh, 100 pieces because I know that this is the type of needle that I'm using the most. In my previous video about buttonholes somebody uh, told me that uh, yeah you did not uh, work correctly as you did not change your needle to make the buttonholes on the ponty knit. But I just want to say that um, with me sewing is always testing stuff and if something is if I'm testing it and it's working for me I'm using it. I mean, I know that um, most of the ponty knit I'm, I'm using and also um, the scuba knits, they are working really fine. I don't know, it's not the machine I think, it's the needle and the fabric. They are working mostly with uh, 80 universal and I'm using that. I have uh, for jerseys, I'm using mostly my serger and even there the um, original uh, needles on the baby lock they are also universals so i'm using that so mostly on this machine i'm using the 80 without any problems and in the um, if i need to uh, use it for top stitching then i am using uh, the as i said the bigger needles or the needles for top stitching that they have a, a bigger hole to accommodate the the thicker thread 
and uh, for fine threads I'm using uh, for five fabrics I'm using uh, finer needles and you know sometimes when I'm sewing I can I can hear on the needle uh, how it's hitting in the fabric how it's coming into the fabric if it's too thick or you know if it has problems and then when I'm changing the, with a new needle or with a different size it's really nice because you hear it like you know it's going as uh, it should go so uh, universal needles most of the time but again test 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 every time testing before I'm starting a project and I'm not talking about um, hours long testing but you know take a piece of fabric and uh, what you are using and make a small uh, stitches and uh, see if you like how they are looking and this is what I'm doing and you know I am the type of um, sewist that um, I mean I like to read a lot on the internet on the social media but in the end when I need to do something I try to find my own way and not so much my own way but the ways that they are working for me and I'm, I'm using that you know even if everybody's saying or the most of the people are saying you don't need to you must not use universal needles on your pont in it I'm going to use that if I test it and it's working for me so again I think in sewing you should test and you should uh, trust your guts and um, uh, sometimes it's really intimidating you know when you read and when you see what people are saying don't use that don't use uh, I don't know but in the end you need to try and to see it for yourself how it's working so the needles um, I cannot remember if I used another type of thread for this machine but 99% of the time I'm using polyester thread and I'm using different brands uh, Guterman or um, there is another brand I'm using I think it's from Poland, uh, Hogard or something like that, but it's also working really nice and I had no, no problems with that. Um, one thing that um, is really important in this machine I think is uh, to clean it and I see that every, every few projects if I'm not cleaning it it's really obvious that I, I, I sewed already for, uh, for one or two projects and it was not clean but because it's, it's getting a lot of uh, fluff here and a lot of dust and uh, it really needs to be cleaned and the way I'm using it uh, the, the way I'm cleaning it is uh, I have a small uh, brush I don't have it here by the hand that I'm attaching to my uh, vacuum cleaner and with that I'm I'm sucking all the all the, the, the dirt I can and here under I'm going to post the video uh, the link here um, none of these corners <laughs> and you will see for the um, for the bobbin here I'm I'm taking off the plate as you see in that video and I think it's a really uh, nice system that you can make it really really easy open and uh, take everything out and uh, and clean it and I can tell you that and also something that I I know that I need to do depending on the fabric I'm making I I am noticing on the machine that if you're starting to cut uh, difficult uh, the thread you know when I'm using the automatic uh, thread cutter or something like that I know that is a lot of uh, dust here in the in the bobbin uh, area and I need to clean that for example now what did I make the last time I think one or two projects on this and it's really I mean it, it depends on the fabric but look how much dust is here and this is this is really something that you'll notice in your machine if it's if it's clean that everything is is working much nicer and um, so this is something that i'm doing uh, a lot on this a lot you know every one or two projects and i think anyway with any machine is a good uh, habit to have to clean your machine every few uh, projects as i said this is a, a really easy system to uh, to have it uh, cleaned this is not really the best position to do it let me see as I said in the other video if something is not fitting right or is not going easy that means that it was not uh, uh, well uh, attached let me see okay so here I'm, I'm cleaning it always with a brush very easy very fast I really like that there are no screws or something like that that I need to screw and difficult to to get by and I also have from my older machine 
I have an uh, extension table which I'm not really using because it's really I'm going to show it to you. So this is the extension table I have. I had it also on my uh, other machine and it, it is fitting. That's why I did not see it when I sold the other one. And as you can see, you really get a lot of space, but it's kind of, it's kind of strange. It's, it's uh, here, it's, it's falling the, the, the edge of the machine, going a little bit uh, round like this. And I don't find it really, really handy. So most of the time I'm, I'm not using it. And I'm using my, uh, you know, the original table of the machine. Okay, so something else that I'm really using a lot all the time is the the knee uh, lift. You know, the thing that you have to put it in and use this with your with your uh, knee to lift up your presser foot. This is something that I really really love on this machine. Um, Something else that I really like is, of course, the um, IDT um, future, the double transport. That is something I'm using also every time I can, almost all the time, only when I'm using like a buttonhole uh, presser foot. You cannot use that this with, uh, with the IDT system. Or, for example, the invisible zipper is also something that you cannot use in combination with the uh, IDT. But for the rest, I'm using that double uh, transport engaged all the time. It's something really great. The only moments when I'm not using that is like is when I want to ease uh, something like, um, let's say, when I'm putting together um, a sleeve into an armhole and it's just a little bit of ease that I don't need to uh, uh, to, to gather anything with with threads. I'm only I'm using I'm sewing with uh, with the sleeve onto the bed of the machine disengage the IDT and that the, the dog feet are um, easing the sleeve for me into the armhole. So that is a moment when I'm not using the, the IDT. I really love that feature. It's really making a big difference. Um, yeah, and for the rest, as I said, it's the doing great top stitching. You can see a lot of uh, top stitching in my projects on Instagram, on uh, denim jackets, on uh, jeans. Uh, it's uh, working great uh, for any thickness. I just made a really uh, thick uh, wool coat and it worked really, really nice. It's sewing like in butter. It's really, really amazing. And uh, for the rest, um, it's very easy to use. Stitching is also something that is doing really uh, well. I'm uh, using, you know, on thicker fabrics, I'm using a little bit longer stitch and on uh, thinner fabrics, a little bit shorter stitches. Um, everything is really easy to, to, to adjust and really easy to, to understand. I don't know if I used a lot, I, I did not even read the manual, I think, just in the beginning a little bit, but for the, it's really, really easy. I'm, I'm going to be honest, I did not use any of those, uh, or maybe in two years I did use some, but I cannot remember, of all this, um, you know, uh, Overcasting stitches or eyelets and bar tucks. I think I did use one time this bar, bar tuck here. It was something really nice, you know, that triangle. I think I used it on a on a at the ends of a hem of a shirt dress. Really nice. But as I said, everything is really uh, easy to get by. The buttonholes are really nice. Um, yeah, it. I, I have. I really. I have nothing to complain about the machine. But now I'm going to tell you the one or two things that I, I'm I'm not really happy about them, but or I find a little bit annoying. Um, the first of them, of the first of these uh, points, is uh, the thread cutter here on the side, on the side of the machine. Let me turn it a little bit. Maybe you can see it. Is this small thing here? This is a thread cutter. The problem with this thing is that when I'm pulling off my work from the under the needle it happened and not only one time to to get my hand here and every time i'm afraid that i'm going to cut myself you cannot cut yourself because it's uh, let me put this back because uh, the the knife is much is into this plastic thing but i find it really you know yeah, sometimes i'm i'm scratching myself in this plastic i think this is a bad i don't know position for that maybe if it was a little bit to the back i don't know this is something that is annoying me really um, maybe I can put some tape here because I'm not using that. 
Anyway, something else that really annoyed me in the beginning before I understood what was wrong was the uh, buttonhole uh, presser foot. I had sometimes it was working fine and sometimes it was working like crazy. It was not stopping, you know, it, when the buttonhole is starting to be made, it should go the, the, the length that you are setting and then it's coming back and so. But in my case, sometimes it was continue going and going and going and, going, and I could not get the hang of it. I could not understand what is happening until I realized that actually this thing is coming, if you have the machine you'll know, if you don't, I'm telling you, it's, it has a hole here under, on, on this side, here under, and this, uh, this cable is getting into that hole. But you really need to be sure that it's pressed completely in, because otherwise the machine is not going to read uh, well this foot and it's going to mess up with your, with your buttonhole. Um, do I have more things that are annoying me? No, these are the only th two things and I probably the only thing that I cannot do anything about it is this thread cutter that I find really, really annoying and uh, take uh, an extra second to press good this uh, cable from the buttonhole foot to be sure that it's good in. Otherwise, it happened to have sometimes to pull out some uh, buttonhole stitches in a thick wool is really not nice. So uh, this is it. I can't really think of other things that you should know about this machine. It's really heavy. It's not really something that you go uh, on a sewing class with it. It's not because I go sometimes here next to me or I was going before uh, Covid. <laughs> well, I, there is a place where we are coming together to sew sometimes, not anymore, since a year or so. But uh, it was really not fun to take this machine with me because it's really, really heavy. This is something that you, you have at home and not so much to, to take with you. And um, yeah, for the rest, uh, I think it's a really great machine. And if you have the chance to, to buy this, um, I think you'll, uh, you'll have a good deal. I am really curious about your opinions on this machine. And I know from uh, the other videos that some of you are saying that you have this machine. And I'm curious how uh, are your feelings about it and I don't know if you have any troubleshooting with it I'll be happy to give you my uh, opinions on those uh, problems and for the rest uh, I can say that uh, I'm very very happy with this machine two years later probably uh, tens of projects uh, uh, made with it from all kind of qualities and all kind of fabrics and all kind of uh, things made with with this machine so i think uh, i am uh, considering this a really um, really good uh, buy i just want to say that uh, if you are interested to see some uh, more videos on this machine and if you have i don't know maybe questions about the the um, decorating stitches or some other stuff i'll be happy to to make some other videos give me some ideas i, I cannot think of any because I love the machine and, you know, I'm thinking that everybody is finding it really easy. But if you have problems or ideas, please uh, put them in the comments and I'll be uh, happy to, uh, to help. I hope to make soon, uh, I have a new serger and a new uh, cover stitch. Again, no affiliates from uh, Baby Lock. I changed my serger and uh, my um, uh, cover stitch machine. And I wonder if uh, some of you would like to see uh, some videos. I have the new, the Baby Lock the Claim and the Euphoria, amazing machines, both of them. And uh, yeah, maybe I'll put some videos uh, on those too. Thank you so much for watching. I hope uh, you enjoyed these videos. If you have questions, put them in the comments about the machine. And uh, I hope to see you next time. Take care. Bye.